everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making these cute little bat booties. <laughs> they are so funny looking. Oh my goodness. I love them so much. They're so cute. I just finished this one here. I demonstrate how to just I just demonstrate how to show one of these and then you can make the other one exactly the same. So they're exactly the same. There's no like right foot or left foot. They're just like slippers and they're so cute. And look at it, I added some wings on the back. That's so adorable. So I'll get into the supplies we need and then talk about some frequently asked questions about sizing and then uh, show you how to make these. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn here. This yarn is a quick becoming one of my absolute favorite yarns. This is Chic Sheep Yarn by Marley Bird and it is 100% wool. Um, I'm using five different colors in this tutorial today. Our main color is called stiletto. That is the black color you see here. Then the face and the outline here is in suede. It's like a light or like a tan grayish tan color. Then we have my tie is the color, this pinkish color, peachy pink color of the e inner ears and the eyes. The stiletto is used in the black pupils. Then this reddish orange color is called sunset. And then the teeth are made with linen. And I think that's all the colors we'll need today. So there's one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five colors. <laughs> I just want to make sure I had all of them listed. And all that information for these colors and all the supplies you're going to need today, it's listed on yarnutopia.com in the tutorial or in the pattern for the bat booties. So you can go to yarnutopia.com, search bat booties, and everything will come up in the notes section, in the materials section, everything will be there. And in the description of this video as well, if you're watching it on YouTube. So, uh, that big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for that yarn, though. That's awesome, and um, you'll have to use that type of yarn. It is a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn, so if you're allergic to wool, because it's 100% wool, you can use any cotton yarn or any um, acrylic yarn, too, that is worsted weight or a double knitting size. You're going to need an I-sized hook and an H-sized hook. If you don't want to use the I size hook, you can just scrap that and just use the H size hook throughout this whole video or throughout this whole tutorial. Um, but I used an I size hook for the main booty part and the wings. And then all these other embellishments and around this edge here, it is worked with an H size hook, just a smaller hook. So you can use both hooks, um, both sizes. This is a 5.5 millimeter and this is a five millimeter. And these fancy hooks, actually, I get a lot of questions about these. These are from the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. They are hand carved and ergonomic. That's why these two are a little bit different because they are handmade and hand carved, but they're carved to the curve of your hand. And for those of you who have arthritis or want to crochet for a long period of time, it is perfect for those of you who want to do that. And I love these hooks so much. I use them in every single one of my projects. Um, if you crochet it like using a pen or if you crochet like me uh, holding a knife. And there's left-handed hooks, There's I'm using right-handed hooks, there's international shipping. you got to check this shop out. It's on Etsy, it's called Would Be Fancy, and the link is in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. It's in the material, the link is in the materials section uh, in the written pattern on yarnutopia.com as well. You're going to need a scissors, a yarn needle, and if you want to have a stitch marker as well, um, I don't have a stitch marker here, sorry, he's like searching for a stitch marker. Um, I don't have a stitch marker here. I use an extra piece of yarn for my stitch marker, but you can use a legit stitch marker if you want to and because um, we'll be working in continuous rounds on some of these pieces. So those are all the supplies you're going to need. I have to say a huge thank you to my dad back there for filming this, editing this, and doing all the uh, photography for this tutorial. The measurement here on these booties is about five inch sole here, five inch length. This will fit, it actually is really, really stretchy, you guys. This will really actually fit a six to 12 month old baby. So if you wanted to go down a size to like a, a newborn or a three month old baby, just use the H hook for the whole body, the whole bat um, booty 
area and the wings as well but I use the eye sized hook for that and that's why it turned out a little bigger and looser but uh, that's the creator's choice so you can use a smaller hook for a smaller size or a bigger hook for a bigger size um, but I only have this one size available so check out the written pattern and everything is in the description of this video links to the written pattern on yarnutopia.com the link to my Facebook Instagram follow me on snapchat I'm yarnutopia on snapchat and I show very intimate um, details about my personal life on there and also very um, much a lot of stuff about the, the behind the scenes stuff here at Yarn Utopia so make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and share your work on Facebook if you share your work on Instagram uh, if you take a picture of it and share your work on Instagram, hashtag Yarn Utopia. I would love to see your work on there. Make sure your photos are public so I can see them. That's all the information I have right now. That is the intro. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for liking. Let's get into making these cute little bat booties. To start out, we are going to use the stiletto color or the black yarn first. We are going to make a slip knot, so put your short end over your long end, fold this down, and then pull your long end through and pull tight. And there's your slip knot. We are going to start off with the eye hook making the booty, so insert that and then pull tight. If you want to, you can use the H hook for the booty, I'll make it a little bit smaller, uh, but I am going to use the five and a half millimeter, or the I hook, for the booty and the wings. And then all the other accessories are going to, or embellishments are going to be with an H hook. So going on to the pattern here, it says to chain 12, so yarn over, pull through, one, yarn over, pull through, two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we have to put two double crochets into the second chain from the hook. The loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain, so count one and two right in here. And what I like to do is turn the chain towards me so you can see it, it looks like this. I like to turn the chain toward me so you can see these back ridges on the back of our chain. Okay, that's where I'm going to be working for this first part. So what I'm going to do is yarn over, go into the second chain, so one, two, the second chain right here, go into that back ridge, yarn over and pull that through, yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops on your hook. That's a double crochet. Again, in that same chain, we have to put another double crochet. So yarn over, go back into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now there's two double crochets in that chain. Next, we're going to just put one double crochet into each of the next nine chains. So yarn over, hop to the next chain right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, there's one. Next chain. This first round is always the most difficult because we're working on the foundation row, <laughs> the foundation chain, so it's kind of hard to get into those loops or into those chains there. So let's see here, we have one, two, three, here's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you should have one chain left. Okay, so double crochet until you have one chain left. In the very last chain here, we are going to put four double crochets in there. So yarn over, go into the last chain, and put four double crochets into that last chain. So one, yarn over, go back in. Here's two, yarn over, go back in. Three. You can kind of see me turning this as well. I'm turning this around this way, like this, turning like this. 
So we are going to now work on the opposite side of our foundation chain across here. Okay, so as you can see, I have four double crochets in that last chain. So now the next stitch is actually going to be worked into where this stitch is on the opposite side of this stitch right here. So the next step is to double crochet into the next nine stitches. So yarn over, go opposite of this stitch right here at the base of that one, go in. Okay, I'm also going to take this long straggler and crochet over the top of that because then I don't have to sew it in later. Yarn over and pull through, wrap everything around so that the straggler is in there. Yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. Okay, so there's one. Okay, yarn over, go into the next stitch. Okay, that's right here. Okay, make sure the straggler is over the top of that. Yarn over with your working yarn and pull it through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So we are crocheting over the top of this straggler and we have to crochet into nine stitches. So that was two. Okay, here's three. Next is four. And five. Six. Okay, I think that it has sewn in enough, so I'm just going to leave that in the back there and just continue double crocheting. And I think that's nine. I'm going to double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there should be one stitch left, our beginning stitch, which had two double crochets in it already. We're going to put two double crochets into that same stitch right there. It's the very last stitch on this row. One and two. And now we're going to go on to the next step. It says to slip stitch to the first stitch right here. If you need to, count back 26 stitches. You should have 26 stitches around. And go into the very first stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. Just like that. So that was round one. Now do not turn your work around yet. We are going to chain up one. Okay. And then we're going to put two double crochets into this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into. So yarn over and go into this very first stitch there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, we're going to put another double crochet in there. Now we're going to double crochet into 11 stitches. Okay, this round is much easier than the last round because we're just actually working into these stitches themselves, just like that. And we have to double crochet into 11 stitches. So let me, I'm just going to go a little bit faster here. Oopsie. And when you go too fast, mistakes happen. <laughs> so try to take your time and do your double crochets in these next 11 stitches. And then I am actually almost there. So you can just continue watching. Let's see how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Eleven. Okay. Then the next step is to put two double crochets in each of the next two stitches. So put two double crochets into this stitch, one and two, and then two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two. Then double crochet into the next 11 stitches, and when there's one stitch left, I'll come back on camera and we'll go on to the next step. All right, once you've double crocheted in these next 11 stitches, you should have one stitch left on round two. We are going to put two double crochets into that very last stitch. So one and two. And then slip stitch to the very first uh, double crochet stitch right here. So ignore this chain one here. Go into the double crochet stitch, 
yarn over, pull through and through, and pull tight. Now you should have 30 stitches on that round. Now what we're going to do is turn our work around, okay, we're going to chain up one, okay, and now in each stitch around we are going to put one double crochet. However, we are going to, let's see here, do, do, do. Actually, I don't think we have to turn. Oh, it says do not turn. I'm so sorry, you guys. I was like, do we have to turn? We don't turn our work. I'm so sorry. So don't turn your work. Chain up one, though. We're going to work in the back loops only for this round. So usually we work into both loops, both loops, both loops like this. The loop that's furthest away from you here, this is considered the back loop only. Okay? The loop that's closest to you here is considered the front loop okay so we're just going to ignore those front loops we're going to go into the back loop only and double crochet into each stitch around so i'm sorry about that don't turn your work just chain up one and yarn over go into the very first stitch the back loop of that yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then just double crochet into the back loop of each stitch around. So it's a simple round, no increasing or anything. So I'll just do that and then I'll meet you up at the end of round three. When you finish round three, we are going to slip stitch to this beginning double crochet stitch. So ignore that chain of one. We're going to go into the first double crochet, yarn over, pull through and through. And as you can see, working in those back loops has created this rib around the bottom here. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but um, it creates a little rib to know that that is the sole of the booty. And now we are working up the sides. So now going on to round four, we are going to work in both loops of the stitches. We're going to chain up one. And we are going to double crochet into the first four stitches. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into to connect here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So the first four stitches. So that was one, here's two, next stitch is three, and the next stitch is four. Awesome. Now the next stitch, as you can see, each stitch is worked into each stitch. So this one is worked in this one, this one's worked in this one, this one's worked here, this one's worked here. So the next stitch would be this stitch right here. We are going to front post double crochet on the next stitch. So yarn over, go on this side of the post around the post itself, just like that. Then yarn over and pull that through then yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That is a front post double crochet. Now we're going to do a regular double crochet on the next two stitches. One and two into the stitch. And now on the next stitch we are going to front post double crochet. So yarn over, go on this side of the stitch, around it just like that, back to the front. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then double crochet, regular double crochets into the next two stitches. Oops. One and two. Okay, and I want to do that again, right? So my pattern, it says three times. So front post double crochet on this next stitch okay and then double crochet onto the next two stitches okay just like that now we are going to double crochet two together so yarn over go into this next stitch here this is going to be the front of the booty Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. But hold those two loops on your hook right there. We're going to yarn over again and go into the next stitch. Then yarn over and pull through, 
and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay so that has three loops on our hook now just like that yarn over and pull through all three of those loops so now we've created those two stitches into one stitch that's a double crochet two together so we have to do it again on these two stitches here so yarn over go into the very next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops so now we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through all three loops and there's another double crochet two together stitch now it says to double crochet into the next two stitches just a regular double crochet into the next two stitches one and two so basically doing the opposite or the thing from the opposite side on this side now so on the very next stitch right here we are going to front post double crochet okay then double crochet in each of the next two stitches so one and two and then front post double crochet on the next stitch right here okay then again regular double crochets in the next two stitches one and two and then front post double crochet on the next stitch right here and you should have four stitches left we are going to just put a regular double crochet in each of the last four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Awesome, that was round four. So we're going to slip stitch to the beginning double crochet stitch right here, going in, okay yarn over pull through and through and after round four if you want to count your stitches you should have 28 stitches but you can start to see that this is coming in just like a booty should so now going on to round five excuse me I'm just getting some more yarn here my yarn ball is somewhat tangling uh, don't look at it fern got into it <laughs> my cat <laughs> my cat fern um, discovered this ball of yarn and uh, she likes to just pull at the yarn with her paw so she basically tore this one apart so I'm just trying to use it up I know stinking cat she's so cute though <laughs> all right almost done okay going on to round five we are going to chain up one so yarn over pull through one and then we're going to double crochet in the first four stitches just like the last round so just double crochet into the first four stitches here one two oops three and four okay then we are going to front post double crochet on the next stitch which is this front post double crochet so front post double crochet around the front post double crochet stitch and then double crochet in each of the next two stitches okay then front post double crochet onto the next stitch and then double crochet into the next two stitches now it's going to be a little different we're going to front post double crochet onto the next stitch right here but we are going to double crochet two together let's see here right here let me make sure I'm doing this right front post okay double crochet two together three times I believe one two and three yes three times so yarn over go into this next stitch here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three loops there's one okay do these two together here okay 
okay and then do these two over here together and you'll notice it's going to get pretty tight in the front here and that's okay because that's the toe of the booty and then you can see the very next stitch is a front post double crochet stitch right here so we're going to front post double crochet on that stitch just like that and then put a regular double crochet in each of the next two stitches if I'm going too fast you can always just pause this and uh, catch up to me here okay then front post double crochet onto the next stitch then double crochet on each of the next two stitches and then front post double crochet onto the next stitch and then there should be four stitches left we're just going to double crochet on each of those last four stitches and then we'll slip stitch to the beginning double crochet of this round so ignore this chain up one stitch here just go into the double crochet yarn over pull through and pull through awesome we have two rounds left I need to get more more yarn and we'll go on to round six next for round six we are going to chain up one and double crochet into these first four stitches just like those last few rounds there oopsie double crochets sorry one two three and four and then the next stitch is a front post double crochet right here so yarn over go on the side of the post around it and do your front post double crochet then double crochet in each of these next two stitches and then front post double crochet on this next stitch right here then double crochet into each of these next two stitches and then front post double crochet onto this next stitch okay that's exactly what we did for the last round now we are going to double crochet three stitches together these three decrease stitches we're going to double crochet them all into one so this is how it goes we're going to yarn over go into this decrease stitch right here yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through two loops hold these two loops on your hook yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two loops now hold these three loops on your hook yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops so now we have four loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all four of those loops just like that we've just de decreased all three of those stitches into one stitch and that's our decrease for the toe and you can see that it is coming in like that so that's the front of the booty so now we are just going to finish off this round like we did the last round just front post double crochet on this next stitch then double crochet on each of the next or into each of the next two stitches then front post double crochet on the next stitch then double crochet into each of the next two stitches one and two then front post double crochet on the next stitch and then you should have four stitches left you want to just double crochet in those last four stitches okay now at this point I am going to fasten off the black yarn if you don't want to change color you can just chain uh, slip stitch to the first stitch here and then chain one and go on to round seven but I'm going to chain one and cut this yarn and then pull it all the way through that chain one and pull tight okay so there's their booty so far we have one more round how oh, cute oh my gosh okay <laughs> I'm going to grab some suede okay this is like a light tan brown don't look at these balls of yarn fern got into them <laughs> my cat got got into some of these balls of yarn and 
started pulling them apart with her paws. Okay, so we are going to continue with the I hook, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, we're going to switch to H hook. For the last round on this booty, switch to your smaller hook, okay? If you are using the I hook and the H hook together. Uh, if you use the H hook throughout, don't change your hook size, just continue with the H hook. But I am going to attach this yarn. You can attach in any stitch around, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go in where we slip stitched here and hook this yarn on and pull it through. Okay, and then chain one. Okay, so we have these two stragglers in the back here. I'm going to hold them back here. And we are going to single crochet into that same stitch that we just attached to. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to put one single crochet into each stitch around for round seven. That's just a simple cuff, basically. So I'm going to do that all the way around, and you should have 23 stitches after this um, this round is done. There should be 23 stitches around, and that's also for round six. Uh, you should have 23 stitches around, okay? We're not doing any uh, decreasing at this point. We are just single crocheting, okay? So I'll meet you up at the end of round seven. When you finish single crocheting around, go into the very first single crochet stitch and slip stitch into there, and then fasten off. So chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight, and then we're going to grab our yarn needle right away and just sew in that end. And sew in any ends that you may have that are loose, just go in underneath your work with the yarn needle, just like that, and then just pull and stretch, and then cut any extra, just like that. So there's your booty. So now we want to embellish this thing. So, I mean, if you want just plain booties, this is a great plain booty design, and this will fit um, probably a six to 12 month old baby. I mean, it is really extremely stretchy. So probably a six to 12 month old baby. Obviously if you used a smaller crochet hook, it would be smaller. So if you wanted to go down to the H size hook, but I used the I hook and uh, that's how it turns out. So you can see the ribbing right here. That's gonna be kind of an effect of uh, for the wing, okay, that we will be making too. So let's go on to making the face of the bat next. Okay, so for the face, I'm gonna set this aside here. We're going to make all the embellishments and then we're going to sew them onto the booty. And for all the embellishments besides the wings, we are going to use the H hook. For the wings, we are going to go back to the I hook. So for the face, we are going to use suede, the suede yarn that was the same color we used on the last round of these booties. Okay, so make a slip knot. You know how to do that already. And we are going to, let's see here, it says to work in continuous rounds, so grab a stitch marker. I just have this uh, regular piece of yarn here, an extra piece, um, to mark my rounds. And what we're going to do is chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochets. So go into that very first chain way over here, yarn over and pull through yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's one single crochet. So go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. There's two, here's three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to stick our stitch marker in there, okay, to mark our round. And going on to round two, we are going to put two single crochets into each stitch around. So go into this first stitch right here. Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again, go back in for another single crochet. 
So then hop to the next stitch and put two single crochets in there. Whoopsie. One and two. Okay, and in each stitch around. So at the end of round two, you will have 12 single crochets in each stitch around. And actually I'm almost there, so you can just continue watching and then we can go on to round three. And for round three, we have to move our stitch marker up. Okay, so there I am, right? Move our stitch marker up. Okay, you should have 12 stitches now. For round three, we want to put two single crochets in this first stitch right here. Two single crochets in there, one and two. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And just repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next then two in the next, and one in the next. And do that all the way around. You should have 18 stitches at the end of round three. So I'll come back and we'll go on to the next round. All right, so after round three, you should have your 18 uh, single crochets. Sorry, I was gonna say double crochets. Uh, moving your sti stitch marker up. Round four is when we start, when we make the eight ears. So. Going on to round four, we are going to put two single crochets in this next stitch right here. So two single crochets, one and two. Okay, that's in the first stitch of this round. Then we are going to put a single crochet into the next two stitches. One and one. Okay, we're gonna do that again. So sing, uh, put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then each of these next two stitches just get one single crochet. Okay, and we're gonna do that again. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Okay, but at this point, we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And what we're going to do is single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain, so count one and two. And what I'm going to do is turn the chain toward me and work in those back ridges like I showed you on the booty. Go into this first or the second chain from the hook here. One, two, go in there. And we're going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next chain. So yarn over, go into this next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook. That just makes the stitch a little bit taller. Now we're going to double crochet into the next chain. So yarn over, go into this very next chain right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And in this last chain right here, we are also going to double crochet. So yarn over, go into this last chain here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, okay? Then we are going to skip one stitch on this round. So right here, we're gonna skip this next stitch and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So skip this one, single crochet into this one right here. Okay, if you want to kind of stretch this out and make it look like an ear. Awesome. <laughs> so now we're going to single crochet in, so we single crocheted in this stitch. We want a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and we're gonna do that four times. So one, two, next stitch, three, next stitch is four. So you have to single crochet in those next four stitches. Make sure to have skipped that one right below the ear, okay? Now we are going to make another ear. So we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five, single crochet into the second chain from the hook, then half double crochet into the next, and then double crochet into the next, and then double crochet into the last. Okay, 
then skip the next stitch right here skip that one and single crochet into let's see here single crochet into the next two stitches then there should be one stitch left on this round right before your stitch marker so we just skipped that one stitch sing single crochet in those next two stitches and there should be one stitch left we're going to put two single crochets in the very last stitch one and two and then we're going to slip stitch to the very next stitch right here go in yarn over pull through and pull through pull tight chain one we're going to cut our yarn long for sewing and pull it all the way through that chain one pull tight remove your stitch marker and kind of shape your ears it'll be upside down but that's sort of what it should look like right now now if you have the issue like i do where there is a big hole right here in the center what you can do is grab your yarn needle yarn your needle with that straggler that's in the center there that was our starting straggler starting yarn when we made our slip knot go around the base of the stitches from round one just like that and just pull tight and that should tighten that circle now if you wanted to you could have started this round this piece with the magic ring um, but I just didn't. I don't know why. <laughs> so <laughs> I just did the chain two method. But I don't mind sewing in this little bit at the end there. Okay, just like that. Awesome. Now I don't know why I have this like little blue little fuzz ball on there. Okay, so now grab your booty. <laughs> grab your booty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> put this right here. <laughs> And that's where it's going to be okay but we want to make all the other embellishments before we sew everything on so let's make let's start from the bottom up okay so let's make the inner ears then the eyes then the mouth and the teeth okay and I think that's all the pieces oh and then the wings are way last because those are back here so let's make the inner ears next I'm gonna set this aside and grab my tie and we'll go on to the inner ear all right, so I grabbed my tie. This is a good game to show because my cat didn't get into this one. <laughs> but this one is called my tie. It's like a lighter pinkish color. If you wanted to go with more of an orange tone or a coral tone, you could do that too. This is for the inner ears and the eyes. So for the inner ears, we are going to make a slip knot. We're going to use the H size hook. And we are going to chain four. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. Now in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet. So go into that second chain and single crochet. Then in the next chain, we are going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over pull through all three loops and then in the last chain we are going to double crochet and that is the inner ear it's so easy <laughs> so chain one cut your yarn semi long for sewing and pull it through and pull tight okay now if you need to you might not need to but if you need to rewind this and make one more just like this so you have two inner ears done okay once you have those inner ears finished we can go on to the next step I'm just gonna set all of my pieces aside and we are going to go on to making the eye next so if you need to pause this catch up with me I'm going to make the eye right now because we're using the same color here we're going to make a slip knot Okay, and the eye is made with my tie again, same color as the inner ear, and we are going to use the H size hook, five millimeters, and we are going to chain two, one and two. If you want to do the magic ring, you can, 
and we're going we're going to put eight single crochets in the second chain from the hook so eight single crochets here one two three four five six seven and eight then slip stitch to the very first single crochet so go in yarn over pull through and through chain one and cut your yarn long for sewing pull that through and pull tight grab your yarn needle and if you need to sew this straggler from the beginning when we made our uh, slip knot just sew that around the base of the stitches from this round just to close that circle in the middle okay, just like that okay leave that though don't cut that yarn okay and now what we're going to do is grab a little bit of black yarn here yarn our needle with that black yarn Whoopsie. Almost had it. There we go. Yarn your needle with that black yarn. Now go from the back of the eye here, okay, through between uh, stitches right here, okay, wherever, doesn't matter, just like in the middle of a stitch, okay. Go in, okay, I'm going to set this down. Now we got to watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a French knot. Okay, so you have your yarn here. I'm going to take my thumb and touch my the eye on there. And I'm going to hold my finger up like this. So I'm going to go uh, in front of my finger to the back. Okay, I'm going to come this way from behind this yarn right here. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to kind of whip it around bring my finger around just like this okay and I'm gonna go hold this onto the needle remove my finger go down into the middle center of the eye okay I know it looks like a jumble mumble right now we're just gonna pull the needle through just like this and then pull the yarn in the back just ever so gently okay and pull oops that didn't work out very well <laughs> you should be making a knot and it shouldn't go to the back <laughs> there it is can you see it <laughs> it just shouldn't slide to the back of your work so there is the French knot Okay, and then we're going to, if you need to rewind this and see me do that again, you can. But what we're going to do is just uh, tie a regular knot in the back side. So I'm just going to crisscross these and come back through. Okay, twice. Okay, so that's the back side. This is the front side. And I'm going to cut this in the back just shorter. Okay. And there is one of the bat eyes. Okay. So I need you to rewind this and make one more exactly like this. So you have two bat eyes. Just like these. Okay. They'll be like this. Most likely. All right, so make sure you have two of these eyes and we are going to set those aside. And next we are going to make the mouth and we are using Sunset, which is like a hot orange. You could use a hot orange color or a red color or any color that you think a bat mouth would be. <laughs> And we are going to do the mouth and then the teeth next. So for the mouth, using Sunset, 
we are going to make a slip knot. Okay, same H sized hook. Insert that. And we are going to chain two. Again, you can start with the magic ring if you want. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now if you um, want to here at this point, if you need to put a stitch marker, you don't have to because we are gonna slip stitch into the very first stitch here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Then chain one. And for round two, we are going to, in this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into, we're gonna single crochet in there. And we are going to half double crochet in there as well. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay? In the very next stitch, we are also going to half double crochet into that next stitch there and single crochet in there as well. Now in the very next stitch, we are just going to put one single crochet. In the next stitch, we are going to single crochet and half double crochet. And in the stitch after that, we are going to half double crochet and then single crochet. And in the very last stitch on this round, we're just going to put one single crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet of this round right in here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Chain one, cut your yarn long for sewing, pull it through, and pull tight. And again, if you have that issue with the circle in the middle there, you can sew that closed. And once I have that done, I will meet you back up. I'm going to grab some um, off-white color called linen, and we are going to make the tooth next. For the tooth, or teeth, we are going to make a slip knot with linen. I'm using an off-white color. You can use any white-ish color. And an H-sized hook. And we are going to chain four, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to slip stitch. So go into that second chain right there, okay? Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Don't pull too tight, though. Then in the next stitch, or the next chain here, sorry, we're going to go in and make a single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three, or I'm sorry, both loops. <laughs> both loops on your hook. So that's a single crochet. And then the last chain right here, we are going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go into that last chain, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we are going to fasten off, so chain one, cut your yarn kind of long for sewing and pull it through and pull tight. Okay, you can kind of shape it to be tooth-like. Okay, just like that, it should be a triangle. It's going to be upside down, so it's going to actually be this way. So make another one just like it. So you have two, exactly the same, just like that. And then once you have both of these teeth, we are going to go on to sew on the face. Once we have the face all sewn on, we are going to make the wings last. So what we're going to do, let's just grab all of our pieces right here. You need your yarn needle, your scissors, all your pieces, and then we're going to sew this all together, okay? So, I know it looks like a mess right now, but we are going to make this super fabulous into a bat shape. So we're going to take this piece first. This is our face piece. Okay, let me get my yarn needle all figured out. We're going to grab the long strand that we cut for sewing for the face. Yarn our needle. Okay, we're going to position this right in the front of our booty. Right here. I'm 
trying to hide this little straggle. Actually, you know what? You can cut this short. It'll be hidden behind it. Okay. And we're just going to go into the booty and then out both layers. Okay. And we're going to just position this where we need it to be. Kind of like right here. Just go in through both layers and out. Okay. And you can, you know, move this, manipulate it however you need to, to get this sewn onto your booty here. Now you can take your time, obviously, and make it look really good. I'm just going a little faster for the camera, but you can take your time and sew this together. Looking good. Okay. Then, once this is sewn on, we can add the face embellishments. And I mean, if you wanted to, you know, sew on the face embellishments first and then sew this onto the booty, it really is creator's choice. It really doesn't matter. As long as it looks nice in the end. Take your time. Okay. And you always, always, always want to end on the inside of the booty. So go into the booty. Okay. Go to the inside of the booty here. And then just go around a couple of the stitches here. Nobody's going to see this inside. And just go back through that loop and pull tight. And you can do that once or twice. And then just sew that end in between the layers and underneath the stitches. And then cut extra. Okay, so the face is attached so far. Now, going on to the next piece to attach, we're going to attach the ears, the inner ears. Okay. I'm just going to show you one of each and then you can sew on the other, or I'm just going to show you on one piece and then you can just use the piece as a guide, kind of where to position it, but the pictures kind of show you exactly where to go. So what we're going to do actually, I'm going to grab my crochet hook and I'm going to hold this ear piece on this piece and I'm going to grab my crochet hook and go to the inside. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Sorry, I was like <laughs> pulling it up to my face to see it. Um, you want to go to the inside and just pull that short straggler to the inside of the booty. Okay, it's just easier to sew this piece on then. Okay, then we're just going to go in and then out. Okay. And again, just take your time um, working with this piece. You want to make sure this looks like a triangular inner ear. Okay. And then again, like I said earlier, just end on the inside. And for these types of pieces, because we left our stragglers attached to those, we are going to just tie those two pieces then in a knot on the inside of the booty. And that won't bother the child's feet at all or anything. And then we're just going to cut these short. Okay, grab our yarn needle and we're just going to sew in these ends, these two ends then, underneath the stitches that are hiding our piece. There we go, this way. They're hiding behind everything. Just like that, and then cut any extra. Turn it over. Awesome. That looks super duper fabulous. So I'm just gonna do that for the other ear. Then for the eyes, we have them positioned about right here. 
right next to each other, okay? And then the mouth is up here, then the two teeth will be this way, um, up here. And then I'll come and show you how to wrap the mouth around. And actually I have one booty made already. So ignore the wings because I still have to show you how to make those. But this is kind of what uh, it should look like right um, when you sew everything on. So we just sewed on this piece right here. You have to sew on the other piece. Then the two eyes. Then the mouth and the two teeth here and here. Make sure they are level with the top of the mouth and like somewhat mostly onto the mouth. Okay, just like that. And then I'll come and show you how to wrap this up and uh, tie that off. And then we'll go on to showing you the wings after that. So these are so cute. So I'm going to sew on the rest of these pieces looking just like that. And then I'll come back when all my pieces are sewn on. Alright, once you have all your pieces sewed on, I kind of did mine fast for the camera. So I'm going to probably try to <laughs> fix mine a little bit. Um, but this is what it should sort of look like. <laughs> For now but we want to add um, just the mouth um, finishing up over here we're gonna take some suede yarn the same yarn that we used for the face and for this round here and we are going to wrap let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten times you can do more if you want but we're just gonna go from the back here okay around this round right here Okay, and I just wrapped it with the ball of yarn and we're just coming around and around so there's two and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's kind of like its mouth piece here but you don't want it to look too scary <laughs> either because they're supposed to be cute little booties. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. I'll probably do more because I'm going to go back now. Okay, so I'm just going around and around. So once I have this um, part done and just, or actually you can just continue watching because I'm almost done here. Okay, and if you're not satisfied with it, just keep wrapping. <laughs> or you can take it apart, frog it, <laughs> start over. Just kind of cover that area. There we go. There we go. Almost done. And as you can see, I'm using my needle to kind of position these over so you can also do that. Okay, so I wrapped about 15 times total. Okay, then you want to end in the back. Okay, we're going to cut these two strands the same length. End in the back here and tie these two strands in a knot in the back. just like that and then just take your yarn needle yarn your needle with both of those strands and then just sew that in underneath those wraps okay now we just have one more thing we got to do and that is to make the wings so let me grab some more um, black yarn stiletto and I will come back and we will make the wings next. 
All right, for the wings, we are going to use the stiletto, the black yarn. Make a slip knot. I'm using the eye hook again. That's the same hook I used in the booty and making the booty itself. So what we're going to do is chain three. So yarn over, pull through one, two, and three. And in the third chain from the hook, we are going to put three double crochets. So yarn over, go into that very first chain way over here. It's the third chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So there's one. Here's two. And three. Then we're going to chain two. One, two. Turn the work around. Work in this very first stitch that we just chained two in. The chain two doesn't count as anything. So put two double crochets into this first stitch. One and two. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And then two double crochets into the last stitch. And ignore this um, thing that looks like a stitch right here. That's not a stitch right there. It's like a chain two. So chain up two, one, two, turn your work around, going on to row three and row four are actually a repeat of that last row. So we're going to put two double crochets in this very first stitch, and then one double crochet in each stitch until there is one stitch left. So for row three, we're going to double crochet into these next three stitches, and there should be one stitch left. <clears throat> yep, we're going to put two double crochets into the last stitch. Then we're going to chain up two, turn the work around, and row four is our last row. We are going to put two double crochets into the first stitch. Whoopsie. One and two. Then one double crochet into each stitch until there is one stitch left. So you should be in uh, five stitches here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then there should be one stitch left. We're gonna put two double crochets into that last stitch. One and two. Okay, now we can fasten that off. We are going to chain one, cut our yarn long for sewing. Pull that all the way through and pull tight, okay? If you need to, rewind this and make one exactly like this, okay, for your other wing. You need two wings. I'm taking my yarn needle and sewing in the short straggler from the beginning when we made our slip knot. I'm just going to sew that in, okay, just to hide it, and then cut that short. A little extra. Okay, so we need two of these exactly the same. Okay, and we're gonna grab our little slipper here, and I have some ends on the inside here that I need to um, sew in. But we're just gonna sew these to the sides of the slipper. So I'm just yarning my needle with the long strand. Okay, lining them right behind the last ribbing. Here's the ribbing, the front post double crochet stitches. We're going to line them up. Okay, just like that. And just going up into the booty and then into the wing. Into the booty, into the wing. And we're only sewing the last two rows down. So the f row four and row three of this wing. Okay, so we're just coming back down. I'm going really fast for the camera, but you can obviously take your time. End on the inside and tie it off, just like I showed you earlier. And I'm going to sew on the other one, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm just um, tying off my other wing here, just sewing in these ends. 
So all I need you to do now is just make one exactly like this and make two booties. Um, obviously they're not going to be like identical identical because there's a lot of sewing involved, but you can try to make them as close as possible. Take your time and make that work for you. I uh, looked at both of mine and mine look so, they look very similar, but they are a little different. So I've noticed a few differences on both of mine and I might go back and fix them off camera, but that is essentially what your booty should look like. And there's this one as well. They're really close actually. They look really good. And the wings are a cute addition to that as well. I hope you enjoyed making these adorable Halloween themed bat booties. You can make these really for any time of the year if, it, if you know somebody who loves bats. <laughs> They're so cute. So thank you so much for watching. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns and Marley Bird for this yarn, for the Chic Sheep yarn. You can use any yarn though. Just remember to check the yarnutopia.com website for the pattern, the free written pattern, as well as information about this project. Big thank you to my dad for filming the entire tutorial, editing this tutorial, and taking the photos for it so I can share it with everybody here on Yarn Utopia. Make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube if you haven't already. Hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get the update and the notification when we post our next video. Until next time, everyone. Happy hooking!